a soft caress, a few gentle words, and you can see the love that Jodine Carruthers has for horses. They're always there just loving us as humans unconditionally. The feeling is definitely mutual, and this local horse whisperer, an equine behavioral specialist, has been nurturing the bond between horse and human for 12 years. Harmonious horsemanship is really just about a way of sharing with people of being with horses. I grew up and I was really taught a lot about it. You have to be the boss, you have to be dominant with horses. And what I found is so much of the time I hit anger or frustration and it took the joy out of working with horses. And how, how I work with them now is really about leadership. It's about how do I create a horse that wants to work for me, that is enjoying their job as much as I am. When Rolf was a young horse, I chose Jodine to come and assist me because he was a little bit pushy and dominant. And when he was frightened, he wanted to be in my space. It's a little bit different when a five pound chihuahua jumps on your lap than a 1500 pound horse. So I needed someone with experience to help me teach him boundaries and um, to keep us both safe. And being a strong personality horse, it took a little while for him to understand that we work together. He's not the boss and neither am I. <laughs> Whitman's a bit of a special boy. I used to call him my difficult child, really. And Jodine's way of working with the horses, really patient, understanding the horse psychology and working with them and, and using that a little bit more in actually getting him to do what you want him to do under saddle has really been probably the biggest thing that I've found from working with her. They are indeed beautiful, majestic animals, but let's face it, they're big and can be, to some of us, including myself, a bit intimidating and a little scary, and they can sense that fear. Overcoming that and developing a connection which strengthens the relationship is part of what Jodine teaches. He would frighten me when he was frightened, and so I had to learn to, you know, have some courage and wait it out and just give him a chance to figure it out, and it definitely paid off. Horses are prey animals. You know, their instinct is that to run when they're scared, what, what is expected from them in the human world, in the domesticated world, is really goes against their natural instinct. So a lot of times when I'm working with horses and owners, it's about how can we teach a horse what's safe for both them and the human in the, in the domestic world, and how can they know what, what's expected of them. The foundation is there to keep us both safe and to have that understanding that when we introduce something new, both of us know the correct steps in order to make it successful. Jodine's knowledge of horse psychology, body language and interspecies communication allows you to learn a lot. And whether you're an owner or not, these skills can be applied in everyday life. Taking the time to stop and read what's going on on a lot of different levels, being patient with it, and really listening, because they can't verbally speak to us, but listening with all your senses to what the horse is saying, and using that patience to maybe step back and look at the situation from a few different angles. I think that applies, it's just a good, good skill to have in life too, that really works well. I encourage people to spend some time around horses and experience the gift that they bring just by simple action, interactions with them, we can learn where our strengths and our weaknesses are. And I know for myself, my relationships with humans have gotten so much better because of my interactions with horses, what they've taught me about myself. This is the first time that I've been so close to a horse and felt so comfortable. If you want to learn more about harmonious horsemanship, contact Jodine or Selena. From Cottonwood Stables in Nanaimo, I'm Melissa Hall.